Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's Mike Bowens with you, ready to motivate you through the Word of God. We come to unleash the creativity within you. This is how we doing it. We doing it big this morning. We doing it big every day for the rest of our lives. Start looking around. Start being creative. Hey, you may cook the best macaroni and cheese that anybody has ever tasted. Why don't you box it up, put it in some little tins or some little cartons and start selling it. Let's go, it's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again, live and direct from Alicia and Creativity within you. This is Success Secrets Part 3. And in the last part of this message is eliminate all distractions. Eliminate all distractions, or if you want to make it easier, remove all distractions. Right? Distractions are what take off your attention from remove your focus from what it is that you're doing. It tries to slow you down. Like you could be typing up a paper for school and the phone rings. Or you got the TV on now. Some people can concentrate can concentrate quite good with a lot of noise. Like my wife, I can't work with her if I'm writing a book because she she works with music. You know, she does things with music. She, she has the radio on, the TV on, loud at the maximum, and she's working. I can't work like that. I need quiet when I'm working so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. It's amazing to me how she does that. But if you're the type of person who can concentrate like that, then have the music on, right? Maybe quietness is a distraction for you, right? So you got to figure out what works for you and work it. But however it is that works best for you, you need to eliminate those distractions from your life, whether it's people for the moment, not cut people off forever, but maybe for that moment till you get that project done, or maybe, you know, shutting the phone off for a while while you're working, maybe you're shutting the TV off while you're working, or whatever it is, you gotta eliminate those distractions. Maybe you're taking on too many activities at one time. You know, you see P. Diddy, and he got this business, and that business, and that business, and you're looking like, man. But P. Diddy got assistance. You think that, oh, I'm gonna be like P. Diddy. He got somebody, you know, an accountant. He got a lawyer. He got pe pe people do designing Sean John clothes. He got people take, um, smelling the, the colognes that he's putting out. He got people that's doing all those type of things for him that checks out the rims. He may look at the finished product. He, sm he may smell the finished product. He may look at the clothes and say, oh yeah, I like that, I like that, I like that. But there's people in the office all day putting the designs together. And then he looks at it at the end and says, I like this, I like this, I like this. When you're starting a business or whatever, or you're doing projects, you're trying to do 10 things at one time by yourself. Instead of taking all your energy and focusing in on one thing, but all your energy until you build up enough resources, enough money, that you can get a staff, a small staff, and have them take over the day-to-day -day operations of the extra things that you want to do while you focus on something else, right? But if you're trying to do everything, you're spreading yourself too thin. Now, when you spread yourself too thin, you're not maximizing the potential. You're not maximizing the impact that you can give something. You take my one finger, that one finger is not strong, right? As if I take a full fist, right? So you gotta maximize your impact. And how you do that is to remove distractions, take away things that's taking away your interest and your focus from what you need to be focusing on at the moment. And as you focus in on what it is that you're doing, giving it 100%, you'll be surprised how quickly and how swiftly you'll be able to move in the direction that you want to go because you are locked in to what it is that you're doing for the moment. And what you're locked in and focused on begin to materialize in your life. But as long as your your head is all over the place, and you, you're talking about this. And if you ever talk to some people, you know, one day they're gonna be a lawyer. You know, three months you talk to them, I don't want to be that anymore. You know, I, that's why I dropped out of school. You know, I'm just working right now. You know, I'm gonna be a clothing fashion designer. Or they like some people just they don't start anything. They just like I'm just so talented, so many things. I'm gonna be a realtor. I want to be a realtor. I want to be a hairstylist. I want to be a you know, entrepreneur, I have my own business, I'm going to have my own, um, um, you know, teaching business school, I want to have my own daycare. They got so many things they want to do, they're not focused, they are distracted. And because they are distracted, they never make any headway. They don't make any moves. And you take one person who they, they don't have all that. they just like, listen, I want to be in real estate, that's it. I want to buy houses, fix them up, hold them, rent them out. That's all I want to do. 
That person will make more headway, though they seem less talented than the person who can sing, write songs, make beats, all that stuff, because that person is trying to do too much at one time instead of just focus on maybe making beats for the moment or singing for the moment or just writing songs for the moment. Then as it starts to progress, then they can branch off from writing songs to making beats. Then it starts to progress from making beats to singing songs, right? That person who's just doing real estate is just focused on just that. And because of that, they begin to thrive and prosper and have success. And it seems that many people are distracted. I wanna encourage you, remove the distractions so you can be focused, so you can be locked in on what it is that your goals are and your dreams are. And you'll begin to accomplish more than what you ever thought that you can accomplish in the past. This is your man Mike Bowens telling you, lock in, get focused, and until next time, be blessed.